Right. In this lesson, we shall focus on mathematical literacy paper one, as it was examined in 2023. And uh, obviously, we shall look at how the questions are asked in mathematical literacy paper one. Um, that is what we shall focus on today. We shall also obviously dedicate time to looking at um, paper two as well next time. Right, a couple of things. Now, a generator is a useful device that can be used to provide um, an alternate source of electricity during a power outage. Generators are very important because in the if there's a power outage, these generators generate electricity. Now, shown below is a picture of a generator with different payment options. Somebody wants to buy a generator in the house at home because um, in the event that there is a power outage, what we call often load shedding, right? They, we need a generator for power generation and uh, to possibly be in a position to, to, to carry on with our daily lives and to be able to have lights on, be able to cook and so on. Now, there's a cash price. Right, so a cash price of this generator is actually 10,999 Rand, including 50%, 15% VAT, uh, VAT, value added tax. Now, there's a higher purchase, um, and the higher purchase requires a deposit of 10%. So if you want, if you have cash, you pay 10,999 Rand, um, you're able to obviously have uh, this includes a 15% that but now if you do not have the price the cash price you actually can always buy this generator or pay for this generator through what we call the higher purchase right and the higher purchase entails a deposit of 10 percent right a cash price is clearly uh, uh 10,999 and the higher purchase uh, involves uh, a deposit of 10 percent the installment then becomes Exactly 534 rand and 14 cents per month, but that is times 24 months to pay, right? And the interest rate is actually exactly 14.75%, uh, right? There's something called the online credit via what we call the Mobi Cred, and the installment is actually a thousand, one thousand and six rand per month times 12 months. The interest rate is actually 9.76%. Right. Give two payment options for this generator. <laughs> what are your? They just need only two payment options for this generator. So we answer question 1.1 and we look for the payment options for this generator. What are they? And what do you think is the answer to this particular question here? So the payment options are as follows. So for the answer to 1.1, you can pay um, through what you call the higher purchase, right? So you can pay for this generator through what you call the higher purchase, okay? Yes. So if, 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 if you do not mm -hmm. want to pay through the higher purchase, you can pay online through what you call the online credit, right? So three, through either the higher purchase or what you call the online credit, okay? Right, online credit. And through this online credit, this online credit is also called the via, it's also called the via MobiCred via MobiCred, right? Obviously they said two payment options, but you can give them one more and uh, you can also pay cash, cash price. You can also pay cash. So there can always be a cash price for somebody who has the amount of 10,999 rand. Okay, so those are the kinds of things uh, um, you need to obviously consider there. Right, in 1.1.2, we're looking at define higher purchase uh, within the given context to say, what does higher purchase mean here in this situation? What does the higher purchase mean here? Okay, higher purchase means that you buy, right? You buy, you buy the generator, 
Okay, so you buy the generator at a uh, monthly installment. Monthly installment. Okay. Only after. Only after your final. Right. Only after your final installment. Right. Only after your final installment. Um, you own, you own the generator, okay? So these are the kinds of things uh, the, which are very important. So you buy the generator at a monthly installment, okay? So only after your final installment, you own the generator. So this one, actually in 1.1.2, is what we call higher purchase agreement. What does it mean to say you are speaking of a higher purchase agreement? So higher purchase agreement means you buy the generator as a monthly installment, only after your final installment, you own it. Okay? So you're going to own this generator after your final installment. All right. Now we look at the third question. The third question says you need to be able to write down the interest rate if the generator was bought on higher purchase. Write down the interest rate if the generator was bought. The generator was bought on higher purchase. What is the interest rate? What do you think? How can you answer I one question? Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think the interest rate is um. Okay. But we but we given the interest rate, isn't it fourteen comma seven five percent? Yeah, that is the thing. So obviously now they are saying write down the interest rate the generator was bought on higher purchase, and on higher purchase the interest rate is this one. So the interest rate yes, so. In, yeah is actually fourteen comma. 75%. And that's the so answer. It's given. it's given and just write it down. You see the beauty of mathematical literacy. It's as sweet as honey. <laughs> okay, everything is obvious. The answers are given to you. You just have to write them down. So the interest rate on a higher, so you just have to see that, okay, they are saying it's a higher purchase. So on a higher purchase, you just pick the interest rate there and you write it down. Let us look at the next question. Now in one in, in 1.1.4, they are saying calculate the total cost of the generator using MobiCrad. So in other words, using MobiCrad, what is the total cost of the generator? We're looking at 1.1.4, and this is uh, way, way too easy. What is the total cost of the generator using MobiCrad? Because the online credit or via MobiCrad installment is a 1,006 rand per month. So which means that the total cost is going to be actually subjected to this. So the total cost is actually exactly 1,000 and six times 12. And uh, if you multiply this by 12, what do you get? Are you able to do it? Um, it's 12, yes, sir. What do you get is the answer? It's 12,072 rand. 12,072 rand is actually the total, the total cost of the generator using MobiCrad. Okay, so that's, that's as easy as that. Now in 11.5, they are saying uh, that uh, a 12.5% discount is given on the cash price. Calculate the amount of discount given if the generator is purchased for cash. A 12.5% discount is given on the cash price. Okay, so in other words, there is a discount. Calculate the amount of discount given if the generator is uh, purchased for cash. 
Okay, if you buy cash, how much will the um amount of the discount be? Or what do you call the amount of discount here? Okay, I'm sure that you can do that. I'm giving you a minute to try that one and give me the answer. I'm giving you just okay. one minute to try it. I just, yeah, you try, you try it there and then you give me the answer. So we're looking at 11, 1.1.5. So in, in 1.1.5, you're really saying now the 12% discount, then how much is it going to be now if there's a discount there? Right. So obviously, this is very obvious because the what is, how much is the cash price? It's 10,000 and 999 rand. So you need to write down the 10,999 rand. And then now you, look, you need to look at the percentage. Right. Because they're saying 12% discount is given on the cash price. You calculate the, the discount. This is the cash price. So you need the discount. And the discount is actually 12,5%. It's 12,5%. And 12,5% means 12,5 over 100. That is the percentage. So if you use a calculator, what do you get? I'm trying to also test your calculator skills. If you do 10,999 times 12,5% divided by 100, what do you get as the answer? It's divided by 12,5. It's giving me a fraction. Yes, and I convert it to a decimal. You might, have, you might be having an SD button. Press the SD button. What do you get? SD button. Yeah, there is an SD button that is small if you have a scientific calculator. It's scientific, right? Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's I thought one. We... Yes. What is it? What's this number? It's one three. Just read the digits. One three. Seven four. One three seven four. Comma eight, eight seven five eight seven five yeah it's comma eight eight okay so you can just read out the digits so it's one three seven four comma eight eight and that is one thousand how do you know it's mm -hmm. one thousand because now when we count the digits we know very well that a a, a number followed by three digits is a thousand so it's thousand so mm -hmm. this is one thousand three hundred and seventy four Rand and, and 88 cents, and this is the answer all together. And this becomes, yes. yeah, this becomes the answer. So, in other words, calculate the amount of discount given if the generator is purchased for cash. So, um, if the generator is purchased for cash, then the discount is going to be this one. This is the amount, the amount of discount. And what is the uh, what does it mean to speak of the amount of discount? Meaning that. This one here is going to be removed from the price. So if this is a 10,000, yes, from the 10,999, they're going to remove this one because if they give you this discount, if something costs 10 rand and uh, the amount of discount is 2 rand, somebody is giving you a 2 rand discount. So it means, therefore, you're going to pay, um, you're going to pay 8 rand. So they're going to just, you're not going to pay the 2 rand. <laughs> you get the point. So they're gonna minus the two rand from from the payment that you're gonna make. Is that clear? Okay. Yes, what, sir. Good. Let us look at eleven point six or one point one point six. Name the type of interest charged if the generator is for is 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 bought on higher pages. Name the type of interest charged if the generator is bought on higher pages. What do you think? The type of interest. Pages. Yes. What do you call this interest here? Because on higher pages, the interest is what? It's 14, comma what? Seven, it's 14, 75 percent. Yeah, 14,75%. You agree. So what do you call it? It's obvious. Think about it. Okay. We are learning mathematical literacy. I want you to get the distinction in mathematical literacy. Okay. But what do we call this interest rate of 14,75%? This interest rate of 14,75% because now this one here, it is uh, 
such that is subjected to an installment of this over a period of 24 months. And this is the interest rate. And therefore, this, the interest we talk about on higher pages is called simple interest. It is called oh, simple. compound and simple. Okay. Yes, compound and simple <laughs> interest. Okay, you remember those, right? Yes, sir. Good. So now this is called here simple interest. It is called simple interest. Why is it called simple interest? It is called simple interest because uh, on higher pages we speak of simple interest. Okay, because it's higher pages. But now okay, you're and the two types of interest. Yes, there's also compound interest. Obviously, but now compound interest does not apply in the case of what? In the case of in the of, yeah, in the case of higher pages. Okay, but obviously, um, there are instances, and in most instances, um, the interest, the type of interest, will be spoken um and, and be mentioned in in most instances, so that there's no confusion about the kind of interest that um is being charged. Okay, so we have answered these questions up to one point one point six. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Right, the next question is 1.2, right? In 1.2, we're saying uh, John's daughter joined the school's hockey team in 2022. Table one below shows the school sports uniform she would need as well as the percentage change in the price compared to the previous year. Table one, prices of school sports, uniform with percentage, right, change in price. So you have the item, which is the sport shirt, right, you have the sport shirt, and the sport shirt has a 2021 price of uh, exactly 267 rand and 92 cents. In 2022, it is 265 rand, and uh, obviously then you also have here the Minus 1.1%, which is the percentage change in price, right? Minus 1.1%, but you also have the spot shots, right? How much is a spot shot? Now, the spot shots in, 20, in 2021, the price was 214 rand and 17 cents. In 2022, the price was 177 rand, okay? But now the percentage change in price was exactly minus 17.4. The spot scat was 248 rand and 70 cents um, in 2021. In 2022, it was 232 rand. And obviously the percentage, the percentage um, um, change in price was actually there minus 6.7, et cetera, et cetera. And you can see those values there. Okay, these was adapted, adapted from the News24 um, site there. Okay, arrange in ascending order the percentage change in price. Right, the percentage change in price, which is this one, we need to arrange it in what? In ascending order. What is ascending order? What does ascending order mean? Do you remember? The biggest, smallest. Please come again. The biggest to the smallest. Okay, that's fine. Now, ascending order is the word ascend. Like we, speak, if you speak of ascension day, what is ascension day? What does the ascension day entail? Okay, there's this, this day when things are ascending, are going up. Things are increasing. So to ascend is to increase, is to go up, is to go higher. And therefore, obviously, in ascending order, we're going to the largest one. We go to the largest one from the smallest one. Okay, right. So we're looking at 1.2.2. And uh, now in 1.2.2, what then? Okay, now that is 1.2.1. .1, we arrange in ascending order. And uh, now we look at this very, very carefully. Let us start. So to start off, we'll start with the smallest one. The smallest one is minus 17.4%. Minus 17.4 percent, minus 6.7 percent. And then we have minus 1.1 percent. And then we have 10,1 percent. Okay, so we dealt with this ones. 
And then uh, we are continuing with the with the extraction, but now we're organizing them in ascending order. 10,1%. Next is what? Is 42,7%. Yes. Is this one? Right. And then after that, it's uh, 90. 90,1%. Next. Yes, sir. 122,2%. All right, so yeah, now this we have arranged these in ascending order. Ascending order means that the order of increasing magnitude from the smallest to the largest one, and so we can see that the smallest one is uh, is exactly that. Okay, I can see. Are you raising a hand? Is there a question? Um, you made a mistake here at ten comma twelve. It's supposed to be one, not twelve. Let me see. Okay, um, the, the 10, eh? Okay. Um, let me see. Which, which one are you talking about? Yeah, where you were answering. Um, is it okay? Um, was on that the side. On the, on the side? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. We started with, with which one? One, two, three. Okay. Then the fourth one. one. The fourth one. Is yes, it one, the two, three, four, the 10, comma one. I speak about the 10, oh, 1. Oh, it looks like 10, 12. Okay, okay, sorry. Let me just write clearly there. Thank you so much for mentioning that. So I'm going to write clearly. Let me put, let me put semicolons. Okay, thank you, Let sir. me put semicolons because now this is going to be a little bit confusing, you see? Oh, I can use some colors. Let me use some nice colors and make this one green. The separation, I'm going to make it what? Green, like this. Right, I'm going to make it just green to make sure that there's no confusion and you're able to see because it can be uh, a little bit confusing. And then now it can appear as if um, the number is something else. But now if I write like this, then it's going to be very, very clear, you see. All right. Now, this is awesome. So you have minus 17,4%. You have minus 6,7%. You have uh, minus 1,1%. And then obviously the 10,1% is also there. Then we have the 42,7%. You have the 90,1%. Um, and then 122,2%. So yeah, this is the result. Okay. Right. So we continue. We continue. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much there, um, uh, dear. Okay. Right. Now, right? <laughs> All right. Now we're looking at 1.2.2. In 1.2.2, we need to identify the third most expensive item in 2022. The third most expensive item in 2022. In 2022, what is the third? The third most, not just the most expensive, but the third most expensive item in 2022. What do you think is the answer to this question? The sport shirt. The sport shirt. Well done. Right. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. And this is a very, very brilliant answer. The sport shirt. I agree with you there. So it is uh, the sport, the sport skirt. It is the sport skirt. Uh, is it correct? What do you think? Isn't it the shirt? Isn't it the shirt? Okay. One. Okay, remember okay, no, no, the, the, third, the third most expensive. Okay, which one is the most expensive? Sadly, the most expensive. The tracksuit top. It is the what? The tracksuit top. The tracksuit top. Right, yes. Then the so it's shirt, number, then it's number one. Number two is which one? The sport shirt. 
the sport chat tea. Then what is the third most expensive? Oh, the sport skirt. The sport skirt is the third most expensive. Okay. Right. So in other words, it is the sport, the sport skirt. Right. We agree that the sport skirt is the third most what? Most expensive. Expensive item in 2022. In 2022. Well done. I like that one. In 2022, because you also have 2021. Right. So now the next thing is in 1.2.3, we need to calculate the difference in price of a cap bought in 2022 compared to 2021. Calculate the difference in price of a cap bought in 2022 compared to 2021. What is the difference in price? For a cap, what do you think? Okay, so yeah, now a cap. Here is the cap. Yes, what is the difference now? Because in 2022 and 2021, then what is the what is the how do you find the difference? What is the meaning of the word difference? So we're dealing with what we call the word difference. What is the meaning of the word difference in mathematical literacy? Isn't it sub? Subtraction. Well done. Subtraction. One hundred and seventy-one rand minus eighty. Eighty-nine comma nine five. And then what is the answer? It's actually eighty-one comma zero five. That is the difference. Because to find the difference now between the one hundred and seventy-one rand and the 89,95. So we just subtract. We just do what? We just subtract. We yeah, and now that is the difference we we actually um, have uh, had to find here. And we found the difference because we had to find the difference in price of a cap bought in 2022 compared to 2021. And we really can see that in 2022, the price increased, but by how much did it increase? It increased by 81 rand and exactly five cents. Okay. So that is what we're able to see there. That's what we're able to see over there. Next question. Determine the total cost. Determine the total cost. All right. So determine the total cost. Right. Of the school um of the school sport uniform in 2021 okay yes so basically i have to plus everything please come again so basically i have to add everything on the 2021 price <laughs> Yes, definitely. So let us uh, just do that one uh, very quickly and uh, we can answer that one with so much ease. So no, no, no deal, no, no stress there, no stress at all. Right, so we continue. Right, so if you look at the 1.2.4. Right. So the, total... the, uh, the total cost of the school sport uniform in 2021. Right. So now in 2021, but we're speaking about the school sport uniform. What do you think is the answer? The answer is. How are we supposed to do it? We're supposed to add. We're supposed to add everything, right? We're supposed we, to add every item. Yes, every item. Well done. So we're going to say 267, comma, 92 plus 214, comma, 17 plus. Two hundred forty-eight, 
comma seven zero plus two hundred plus um eighty seven comma seven five plus forty eight comma eight comma five eight plus eighty nine comma nine five then use a calculator do this okay and I'm sure it's way too easy right if you use a calculator what do we get out of these here can you please give me a minute? All right. I, I know you can be able to do this, but I need to confirm your calculator skills as well. You need to confirm your calculator skills as well. Okay, I'm getting 976,15. Okay, what, what are you getting again? 976,15 as the total. Is the total. Okay, let us check that one. Because I'm getting a different answer. So, personally, I'm getting um, 1,204.85. And Right, is the total cost. Total cost. Okay, check again. I'm expecting you to get that answer there. And that is what. Do it again, please. Okay. Do it again, please. And then tell me what answer you're getting. Okay, sir. All right. Because I'm expecting us to get like the same answer. So if we need to get the same answer, it's very important that we get the same answer and you don't just get um, different answers. Because there's one answer. Okay, I just got 1,224,85. Wow, well done, well done, well done. Now that is the answer all together. And that is the what? That is the answer. The to the okay, good. So now we continue and we do the next one. We do the next part. We do exactly the next part. And the next part is a... 1.2.5, name one other, name one other item not listed in the table that uh, John's daughter might need in order to, pl to play for the school hockey team. Okay, name one other item not listed in the table that John's daughter might need in order to play for the school hockey team. Should the item be part of the school uniform or it can be any other item? Okay, that's a good question. Um, yeah, but yeah, any other item that you think that that is not in the table that John's daughter might need in order to play for the school hockey team? Okay, she might need a hockey stick. Yes, the most definitely. So yeah, obviously um, that is so true. So in other words, in 1.2.5, um, the daughter, we know very well that is gonna need some shoes. So um, some hockey shoes, okay? So we know that uh, the daughter might need hockey shoes, but uh, if the daughter does not need hockey shoes, the daughter might also need uh, what you call the sheen pads. Because oh, for the knee. Hawk, yes. Those shin pads are very important for safety. It's some safety gear because uh, um, when playing hockey, um, you are subjected to having sometimes to fall down, etc., etc. 
then we are likely to be hit by objects. And then now um, these um, shin pads are very important or the hockey shoes are also way, way too important. Okay, so we continue right now to, um, we we'll continue right now to, to to sort this out. So let us look at the next next question. Right in the next question, now we are really saying um, first we need to read through this particular information because use the graph above to answer the questions that follow. We need to use this graph. So to use this graph, let us first read through the questions. Now, the line graph below shows the official and expanded unemployment rates for 2021 for all the provinces in South Africa. Right, these are the official and expanded unemployment rates for 2021 for all the provinces where? In South Africa. And now let us read together and understand. Note, the expanded unemployment rate includes the statistics of unemployed persons not looking for employment or trying to become self-employed. The total labor force includes all those who are employable, including the unemployed. Okay, so now, official and expanded unemployment rates for 2021 for all the provinces in South Africa. Right now, if you look at the percentages, you're able to see that there are the official and the expanded. Right, official and expanded unemployment rates. So what are the official? So now, some of the rates are official, some of the rates are what? Are expanded. Right, the official rates themselves are actually perceived and the expanded ones are a little bit thinner. Okay, you can see the thicker ones um, are, are, are actually the official. Those lines that are thinner, you have the expanded. Okay, you can really see that now if you look at the percentage, 60%, 50%, 40%, 30%, 20%, 10%, 10%, 0%. And uh, you can really see that uh, obviously here you have, uh, for example, the Eastern Cape. Right. If you look at the Eastern Cape, the Free State Province, Gauteng Province, Pumalanga Province, Northwest, KZN, um, Limpopo Province, uh, yes, Western Cape and the Northern Cape. Well done. Okay. Right. So let's check. Now, for instance, here is 49.6. 49.6. Okay. But now, um, what else do you have? If it's about 49.6, then you have also what? Now you have the official, the official, the expanded is 49,6. Okay, so this is the expanded one. It is 49,6. And then the official is what? The official is the, is the thicker one, which is 43,8. Okay, and so on and so forth. Okay, we're able to see these particular questions. So in other words, the total labor force includes all those who are uh, employable during the um, including the unemployed okay so those who are employable and those who are who are actually uh, unemployed there okay so now that is the labor force but the expanded unemployment rate includes the statistics of unemployed persons not looking for employment or trying to become what self-employed like Use the graph above to answer the questions that follow. Write down the province with the highest expanded unemployment rate. Which province do you think is the highest um, expanded unemployment rate here? And what? why do you think that is the case? Why do you think mm -hmm. that is the case? Mm -hmm. The Eastern Cape. It is the Eastern Cape province. Well done. So now the... Write down the province, or in the, uh, here you need to say it is just the Eastern Cape province, right? It is the Eastern Cape province. The Eastern Cape province, um, if you look at the expanded, the expanded unemployment is what is 49,6. So, in, since it is 49,6, then we're able to see that it is the uh, the expanded unemployment uh, rate. Okay, now the smallest difference between the official unemployment rate and the expanded unemployment rate. 
What is the smallest difference? We're looking for the smallest. We remember what, what we said about what the difference is. Well, how do you find the difference between two numbers? What did we say? We subtract. we subtract the two numbers. So now in this question, they're saying the smallest difference between the official unemployment rate and the expanded unemployment rate. So what is the, the smallest difference there? Are we calculating for the Eastern Cape? Okay. For... Any, okay. any other, any other province? Yes. Any province. Any out. So it's not, it's, we're not really focusing on the Eastern Cape, like uh, obviously the, the, the answer to part A was Eastern Cape. So, but in the part B now we are looking at any other province here. So the smallest difference between the official unemployment and the expanded. So now you need to look at the graphs here and look at where the graphs are the closest to each other. Where are the graphs the closest to, to each other? In which case, therefore, that will give you the, the smallest difference. Which province? What do you think? Mm -hmm. It is the Western Cape. It's the Western Cape. It is the Western Cape. Right. It is the Western Cape that is sitting at uh, Western Cape province. Um, Kappa, you know. Now the Kappa Western Cape, you have twenty-seven comma twenty-seven comma nine, and then twenty-three, twenty-three comma seven. So if we are to find the difference, what we do there to find the difference is as follows. Okay, so in other words, um, anyway, we don't need the difference, but we just need the profits. So now uh, write down. So because according to this question, the, the question is clear that we need to do what? We need to just uh, write down the province with the smallest difference between the official unemployment and the expanded unemployment rate. Is the Western Cape. Mm -hmm. Right. If you look at 1.3.2, 1. 1. 1.3.2, Determine which province represents the modal official unemployment rate. Which one do you think represents the modal official unemployment rate? The Northern Cape. Okay, that's a uh, year. So obviously now to the, the province which represents the modal, what would modal mean? So this will refer to the mode. This would affect the mode. The mode. What is mode in statistics? Mode in statistics means what? What, what is the mode in statistics? Because in statistics, you speak of the mode. So what is the mode in statistics? The middle number. <laughs> okay. Um, you need to remember that uh, what the mode is in stats. Is the value that appears most often. Oh. Yes. So in other words, mode. Mode is the value. Value That's that appears. Yes, that appears. I'm just defining that you're not saying you need to define. That appears most. Most often. Okay in a set in a set of data values right in a set of data values mode is uh, the value that appears most often in a set of what of data values okay so but this is not the answer to the question it is just a definition so the question is uh, which province now is doing this? So which province is uh, having the property that uh, such that the official has the modal official unemployment rate? In other words, the unemployment rate that occurs the most. And the answer to that question is there's no mode here. So there's no, mm. no province. No province. Right. Okay. You can write no province, but you can also write no mode. 
you can write uh, no province, no mode, alternative, you can say no what? No mode, no province or no mode. Next question, total labor force for the free state was 918,000 in 2021. Calculate the number of officially unemployed people in the free state. Let us look at this question. What do you think? Um, how do you do, how would you do this question? How do you do this question? Because now, in other words, the total labor force in the free state was what? It was 918,000 in 2021. And so now, Calculate the number of officially unemployed people in the free state. So you're dealing with the free state province, right? And uh, the official, officially unemployed. So the, the free state has 37, uh, 35,6. So in other words, so you would say the number of, you put here the number. Right, so the number of unemployed, unemployed people. Officially unemployed. Yes, maybe we, let's just put that one to make sure that uh, there is a clear distinction. Um, right, so let's just say the number of officially, right, officially unemployed. Unemployed, right, unemployed people, right, in the free state, okay, because we're not speaking about any other province, we're speaking about the free state province, and therefore this is equal to, so now you'll see it's 35,6, 35,6, Right, times 918 times 918,000. And then what is the answer here? What is the answer? Okay. Use the calculator, please, and give me the answer. Okay. Um, right. The answer is three two six nine nine comma one six. Okay, well, let's just check that answer that you got. So you got what? Please say it again. Three two. Yes. Six nine. Six nine. It's six nine. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to check if your answer is uh, is is very correct. Please do it again. Okay. Do it again. I need to compare your answer with mine. Okay. Oh. Please do it again. I need to compare your answer with mine. I need to make sure we write correct answers. Okay. I mean, oh. uh, yo, thirty five point oh. times. 918, one, two, three. I'm trying to check. What answer are you getting? Oh, three, two, six, eight, zero. Okay. <laughs> like this. Okay, because remember that the percentage means that there's 100 here. So it's 35, 35,6 divided by 100 first, and then you multiply by this. Did you divide by 100? Okay, it's 3, 8, 8. Is it like this, 808, right? Yes. All right, yeah, now that is the correct answer. 
And thanks so much for noting that. So that is the correct answer. All together. And that is the correct what? That is the correct answer. Uh, Let us look at the next question. Roadside tours and travel agency made a booking at a guest house for 36 work colleagues to attend a conference in Uppington. The guest house offers rooms with two birds and four birds for accommodation. And extra A shows an invoice that roadside tours and travel agency um, received from the guest house. The total amount of accommodation and meals were paid for in advance. Use an extra A and the information above to answer the questions that follow. Write down the address of the guest house. Right, so, okay, that's that's okay. So we'll spend uh, time on this question in our next lesson, okay? Okay, sir. Yeah, we shall spend, so in other words, so this we shall do during our next lesson. Right, so, okay, yeah. Sir. Yeah, it's, it's what, so yeah, this question we shall do during our next lesson and I'm going to communicate to you, but we need to fix, um, so we can fix this day because Fridays we're doing physics, so we can fix this day for, um, for mathematical literacy and this day is what, is Wednesday, so we can say every Wednesday 8 p.m. we do mathematical literacy, yeah, okay, I'll send you more details on WhatsApp, you can also ask questions, but Fridays we're doing science, okay. Okay, so and when are we doing life sciences? Um, yeah, I'm gonna send you the day for life sciences as well. Okay. Okay, so thank you. Thanks so much. We'll talk then and have a good evening. Okay. Have a good evening as well. Bye, sir. Thanks. Goodbye.